Hi, thanks for stopping by. Renji and I just wanted to say hi, and I wanted to just show you his big boy style now with his Louis Vuitton collar. And where is it? It comes with like a little tag on him too, so I hope you guys can see it. But I'm gonna take it off of him and do a little update on the tag. So, and we have an unboxing, so I hope you stick around and watch. Today's bag of the day is the Louis Vuitton bento bag and for the longest time I, I wouldn't say regretted it but I wish I had gotten the north south versus the east west but I was wrong I will say it here you better record and replay it because that's the only time I'm gonna say it no I'm just kidding but I love this one so much better because on my frame it's such a better crossbody and I think that if I had gotten the north-south version it would be too similar in size and or shape of these bags either the cons or the Louis Vuitton um, luggage tag bag and this is the Louis Vuitton XL bando strap um, bandolier strap and I love it but it is just a smidge that much of a smidge too short on me to go crossbody so I found these little clip-on thingies from Malto M-A-U-T-T-L dot com and I think they were like maybe 10 bucks for two I think something like that and it makes a great extender for you know plus size women or men so I love these little add-ons and my original intent in buying them was for the luggage tag bag but it works on every bag I have I can I can work it out so that basically anything I own now that has the hooks will be a crossbody so I'm super happy that I found these on mounto.com and I wanted the Louis Vuitton one but I thought it looked weird having that extended chain on one side only it was something about that look because that's how I did my favorite was to extend it like that but it was just something about that unevenness that drove me crazy and I can only wear it one direction crossbody because it bothered me and just all the things basically. So that is my bag of the day and I'm definitely going to change it because today's video is an unboxing. And the lip gloss of the day is, oh my god, what is it? It is, what is it? It is a Chanel, I know that. I I want to swear it's 712, but it could be 808. So both of those are my two staples. Thank you to T, which is Pink Butterfly Girl. She turned me on and I'm I'm hooked. That's what it is. And that's it. And Ringy's, I think I might start doing Ringy's collar of the day. So this is what I was inserting earlier was his collar. It's the Louis Vuitton collar. This is a Samsung it's their equivalent to an air tag because I have an Android phone and yes I love it and his little collar his little gold plated collar with Rinji Avari on it and it just has my cell phone number on the back and it came with this little tag that dangles and it's filthy it's filthy and it's stamped R on the front and then LV on the back for Renji and then of course Louis Vuitton but it is filthy because he's a cavalier which means every time he drinks water his ears get wet and he is not a snood baby at all I've tried snoods I've tried clips I've tried rubber bands I've tried banana clips I've tried everything and he does not like to have his ears pinned up when he drinks water so and he looks funny but he doesn't like it so I don't do it and we just either let his ears air dry because we brush him out every day anyway so he's fine oh speaking of he just needed a different spot to lay um so yeah that's that and let me get to the unboxing because you know I can ramble there's I was gonna say another word but it's ramble basically I'm sorry I wanted to insert this bag 
this is the reason for the clips because although it does come with a vaquetta over shutter strap it's just not long enough I'm just I'm just gonna leave it on leave it on that it's just not long enough and I normally don't leave my straps wound up in my bags I normally just let them hang straight on a hook thing that I have in the corner and that's where this one's gonna go soon because I, I just don't like it when they're pre-curled I don't know I'm sure it's one of those neurotic things but I, I just don't like it so I am going to fix that real soon so we will start with the important one which is Burberry and it is something very small and very adorable when I picked it up, it was actually too small. So luckily for me, the gentleman there went ahead and exchanged it right there on the spot and I didn't have to wait because my regular girl, Nikki, hi Nikki, she was off and it's so stinking cute. Just give me a second. And it didn't come with a bow or anything, but you know, normally Burberry really doesn't. Oh my God, a little dust bag and Ringy, uh uh uh. Oh my goodness. Captain Naughty over here will find lint or dust. If there's one sliver of a piece of paper, he will find it. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, speak of the devil, my first item is the Burberry dog collar. Isn't that cute? Isn't that just stinking cute? I know. So now he has the Gucci, the Louis Vuitton, and the Burberry. And he's got a really cool custom one too. And yeah, he is so deserving because he is such a joy. It's funny how me and my husband just kind of laugh sometimes that it's like having a child in the house but can't talk back, doesn't talk back, brings that joy, and doesn't ask you 50,000 questions. So we just adore him. and. I know he's spoiled, but I don't care. I, I just don't. So there you go. And what does it say on here? It just says, what does that say? Just Burberry England. And I wonder if I can have it engraved. I can probably take it to like Things Remembered or something and have an R put on the bag. But yeah, there's that. Let me see if you can see it. Does that help? There we go. So super, super cute. And Renji, he's trying to um, chew up the dust bag, but before he does that, I'll just let him have the box to tear up. So if you hear that noise, you'll know he's doing his um, due diligence. So hang on. I did not do a scent of the day because dot, dot, dot. That is another unboxing or unbagging. And when I went to go pick up the collar, you know how they just have the perfumes just sitting there? So I just happened to smell one and I was like, oh my God. So the first one I smelled, I fell in love with. The other ones, not so much, but it was the first one. And it is my Burberry blush. It smells amazing. There we go. In case my lighting is a little bit off today. And I love it. I love this. I was like, Oh my gosh okay that's amazing and I intentionally didn't wear a fragrance to the mall because I knew I was going to Louis Vuitton and my intent on going to Louis Vuitton boom, was to smell the new what is it called Pacific Crisp so there's that but then again, while I was there, so things happen. That's all I can say is these things happen. And I think I'll be good on perfume for the next, you know, quite a bit of time because Spell On You has been one of my favorites for a while. Like that I'm to the point where I'm ignoring other sets and that's not good. So, boom. It is the bottle with the flowers on it. I'll open it and maybe put a picture or something on there another time. I'll get to that. 
and then hang on for a second because Renji needs to tear something up. Ren Ren. <coughs> okay, it's just the same Burberry box. He gets in these moods where he thinks that every box is for him to chew. So sometimes it's just easier to give him the box to chew. And then... Boom. It is Pacific Crisp. It's very fresh, very clean, very refreshing. Um, the box is amazing. It looks very... California and Hawaii so I could I'm a Cali girl by you know by birth and you can't beat it it's it's very clean very fresh very very daytime I wouldn't say it's it's not a sexy spell on you type of scent it's not that because it is unisex and I was wondering oh I'm trying to get the box open but I'm gonna tear it to get it open but yeah, that's what it is. I'm not going to keep that box anyway. It's going straight to... I'm going to let Renji chew it for a minute and then it's going to the recycle hamper. So it's not a big deal. But the bottle is just straight beautiful. And yeah, that too. I'm not going to keep that. The bottle is beautiful. And again, it's a very fresh daytime smell. It is definitely not alluring. It's... It's attractive. That's the nicest. That's the word I would use for it. It's very attractive. I wouldn't say it's alluring or sexy or sultry or anything like that, but it's very fresh and very clean. So, if you can get your essay to get you, get their hands on a sample for you, I recommend. So, now let's move on to the good stuff. Hey, Boba. This was supposed to be my Mother's Day gift, and I got the flu. Unfortunately, it was bad. It was one of those things where if, if we're friends on Instagram and I, you notice that I start sending you like a thousand memes and stuff like that, it's because I was home in the bed all day. For two weeks, it was terrible, but I just had to kind of go, okay, at least I'm past it, minus the cough and at least it wasn't COVID and I didn't die. So, you know, it sucked, but not the ultimate suck. So I just have to be grateful for what I got. So anyway, this was supposed to be my Mother's Day gift and I love it. When I saw it, I just, I just, mm. and it's not blue. So surprise, surprise, it is the Louis Vuitton Diane bag in Ampreon leather and I went with black I don't think that you can have too many black bags well well no I don't think so because every black bag I have is different somehow I don't have two of the exact same thing yeah I don't even if I have two black speedies they're different one might have a bandolier, one might, you know, not be, one might be a different size, something like that. So I don't have two of the exact same anything. And even if they are the same model and size, they just give off a different, a different flavor every single time. And every single bag is a little something, something different to me that I own. So she is gorgeous. She has a pocket on the back that fits your cell phone. I mean, shh. There you go. There you have it. It is a magnetic snap and it's beautiful purple on the inside. I haven't seen one this shade of purple and I think it's it's more like a blue purple, blurple. I love it. I think it's just gorgeous. And it, I apologize, that noise is Renji now going from the Burberry box to the Burberry bag tearing it up. So. We're just going to let him do his thing. But, pretty spacious. It has a zipper pocket. 
So if you carry cash or anything that you want to keep zipped in there, I would say for me, I would probably just put my card holder or something there, back there. If it was something, well, you know what? I really don't go anyplace dangerous. So it's like, I, mean, I go home, I go to work and I go to the mall. That's pretty much my life. But yeah, you could tell it easily fits a mini pochette, maybe a makeup, um, a compact mirror, some keys, you know, all your good stuff. So I think she's gorgeous. And I like the fact that I can put on different straps. I'm definitely going to use that um, bandolier guitar strap in the monogram for her. And she comes with a short strap for her shoulder. And one thing I like about Louis Vuitton, when they make a short strap, it always has that thickness, that just enough in the middle so that you can tell it's supposed to go on your shoulder. And I don't know, I just really like that about those. So there's that. And then it comes with a woven Louis Vuitton strap as well. And I was looking at it in the store and I thought, oh, it is a little short on me because, you know, the girls ain't going nowhere. And I was thinking, oh, I can probably use those extenders again. And I sure can and I sure will. So there's that. I think she's gorgeous. And I think she'll fit right on in with my, you know, right on in with her sister. So there we go. And this is my new bag. So I hope you're happy because I am. And honestly, I hope you're happy in journal because I am, you know, luxury things and luxury goods make us smile, but they don't make us happy. Do you know what I mean? So I hope that you are happy and yeah, that's pretty much it. So I just wanted to share with you guys. I hope that you have a great weekend. I hope that you are well, and I hope that you are with someone you love and I'm not going to do a story time about it, but I had a really fun weekend and yeah, that was that. Um, what else? Oh, I did pick up something else from Burberry, but they had a private sale. So when everything comes in, I'll do an unboxing of that because we aren't privileged enough to have a Burberry outlet like somebody does. And I wish that we did, but yeah. Oh my gosh. So I'm sure you know what my bag of the day is going to be for tomorrow. Definitely. This girl. Yeah. And I I actually like the, flag, the fact that... Oh, let me see. I'm not sure who I saw unbox theirs. And they were doing a video about it. And she had mentioned that her buckle had came undone. So when I actually went to go check it out, I checked the buckle. And mine is just fine. Maybe she just had a, a fluke. But she said that her buckle came undone and that part was missing so I'll keep my eye on it but I really don't expect to have any problems and if I do I'm sure my essay will do something you know switch it out or whatever but I don't I checked it and it's fine so I wonder what how hers got loose but anywho I'm happy with it so I'm about to go clean up this mess that he has shredded all over the floor and throw it all in the recycling hamper. And I just wanted to thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. I hope you subscribe. See, I remember to say it. Um, yeah. Be kind for no reason. Be a good human. Don't be, a, you know, it's funny because I always say be kind for no reason. And the reason is there is no reason you don't have to but why not it's easier to be kind to somebody or smile or whatever just let it go it's not i think the older i get the more i realize so many things are not worth my time or my effort to either be negative or be unhappy i would say uh, yeah because i am a true scorpio if i hate you it's probably forever and if i tell you i'm gonna get you back trust me i will so that set aside, I think that just that day-to-day -day bitterness, I, I just, I don't know. I think it's an age thing. I just, yeah, look, it ain't worth my effort to sit around and be bitter or stewing on stuff. It's just really not. 
So I hope it's not for you as well. And thank you again for your time. Don't forget to subscribe and watch some more videos, you know, over in here somewhere if you're bored or if you like my Renji or if you just want to see some shenanigans. Oh, one more thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you notice, I wonder, can you see it? But one of my shelves is missing. So that's why my girls look all scrunched in together if they do to you. But I'm real funny about, I don't like for my bags to touch that, which that really annoys me. But the lights went off on one of the shelves. And when we were trying to replace the lights, it, it just turned into something else. So I decided to repurpose that light. I mean that, I'm, I'm sorry. I decided to repurpose that shelf into something else, just like basically a shoe rack and a hat rack because, yeah, because of that. And then if I remember, I'll stick a picture of it in here and yeah, so I'm down to three. I will order another one today because, you know, I don't like when my girls touch each other. So thank you again. Have a good weekend. Aloha.